who he's staring at. This dog has a level of energy like I've never seen before. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Fantastic. Saw a rainbow the other day. Took some good pictures of the moon. Can't complain when things are going like that. I, I have a lot to do this week. It is freezing. Not really. I'm being a bit of a baby. It's like 52, but it's really windy. And I'm just not feeling it. It's supposed to warm up. I figure, go ahead, talk about what needs to be done. We'll pick up tomorrow and actually get to work. I just don't want to be doing stuff out here right now because I'm so flipping cold. It's amazing how that works, right? A month ago, 52, and I would have been like, oh, it's so warm. Whereas now I just, I can't stand it. It's too cold. Mostly because of the wind and because I have a swamp monster around me that constantly keeps my legs and my feet wet. That doesn't help. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Turbo. A little swamp monster. Let's get down to, I think, 33 or 32 tonight. Ugh. But then I think that that's the last, like, freezing, frosty temperature in the forecast. This is actually kind of late for that, but we had snow April 28th last year, so I, I never know what to expect. But anyways, here's what's going on. Here's what I'd like to get done out here this week. I somewhat talked about this in the garden tour, not the garden tour, just in last week's vlog how I have all this pottery here I need to get organized and some gravel I need to dig out and just, I want to clear off this space. I'm gonna move my potting area. I don't want things here anymore. I'd like to just be able to see the patio, see the nice clean, okay. And now you're knocking stuff in the pool. Anyways, there's all this stuff here. I just want it gone. I want to have a nice clean line where the drainage runs through. Talk about the specifics when I actually get around to it. And then there's another area down here that needs to just get completely picked up where I have a lot of old pottery and things that I just don't want anymore. The chase lounges are pretty much, I'm, I think those are all broken. They've got to go. I have some new ones to put together to put over there. I don't have cushions for them yet, but I at least have the, the lounges. So that'll be nice to have that done. And then I have about, what is math? 2,400 pounds of gravel. Have it laid out and ready all along the perimeter here and i'm going to need some over here for this wall as well and down this way i'm going to need some of it also just to get a nice top dressing so that things can drain properly and it's just it'll look nice it's been a few years since i've been able to do the thing where i dig out all the beds and replace the gravel or top off the gravel i should say and it just really overdue it needs to be done badly and I, that's just going to give this entire patio doing all that, getting the stuff out of there, the stuff out of here, moving my potting area over down here. Hope that didn't make anybody dizzy. Over there where that big blue thing is, that's where the pond used to be. That's where I'm going to move my potting bench and have all that stuff over there. It's just, I think it's going to look much more clean and fresh. I don't want stuff all over the patio. Not right now anyways, in a few weeks. When plants aren't rolling in, you can just trash the place with plants, but all the excess the materials and supplies, gotta get it organized and put away so that's that's what's on my mind that's what's been driving me crazy and you have that itch of something and you know like you just got to get it done this is that for me and I told myself I had until the end of the month and really the 30th is the end of the month so it, it's got to get done this week and I only have two days to do it because it's supposed to rain on Wednesday so we have to get to work here pretty soon and I'm looking forward to it and get organized gonna get dirty it's gonna be a lot of fun hopefully I don't really know this got to get it done gonna be a lot of work but I'm looking forward to it and I did already get started on this a few days ago it was kind of talked about it in last week's vlog the hot tub area was the only spot that I hadn't done a winter cleanup on yet so I pulled out all the pottery came in and got the leaves and everything picked up and then went through with a power washer and got most of the soil up and off of the ground so that space is looking a lot better now there's already more dirt and stuff on the ground that just happens. The pottery is not staying like this. It just had to get moved so that you could get it and, you know, do the power washing and everything. So that was like step one of many. And it felt good to get it done. We'll pick up in the morning. Maybe tonight have a little play with the cats. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll be back in a second. Hopefully it'll be warmer and be doing something out here. It's a new day. I'd like to say it's warmer, but it's not. It's like 44 degrees. Wind died down though, so it doesn't feel anywhere near as miserable as yesterday. And I'm dry. And I have pants on. That makes a big difference. I wasn't, I wasn't like pantless yesterday. I had pants, shorts on. Every, maybe I talked about it. I don't know. The dog just he kept getting me wet and eventually I ran out of things I wanted to do yard work in. That's why I just gave up on the day. Today I approached things with a different strategy. Let the dog out. 
around, I don't know, eight and hung out with him, did a few little things outside and just let him run around and play for a solid three hours until he started to get grumpy and tired. He's still young enough that you can tell when he's done. He starts barking at absolutely nothing and just, he gets grumpy. That's why I know, okay, I can put him inside. He's going to take a nap. I can set the tripods up and not have to worry about the 100-pound, 10-month-old dog running around just dog all over my things. So I haven't done anything significant yet. I did move the pool pond, so that's now sitting over there. Needs to be washed out and cleaned and taken apart and put away. I'm not going to mess with anything that has to do with water until later in the videos. That would be like Thursday or Friday for me. It's just too cold. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with the hose and everything, especially when I know that in a couple days it's going to be in the 80s. May as well wait for all that. What I'm really excited to get done is to get all this taken care of. Get it off of the patio. So uh, I think for starters, what I'm going to have to do here, I should explain some more things. Pots go back here. Where you can't see them when the queen palm is here. That's still off in the greenhouse, but this is where they will go. This area though, over the years, it started to fill in with soil and it's supposed to be mostly gravel. So I need to grab a shovel and start digging that out. And you can see there's like some just random bits of junk that are back there. And that's always going to be the case. Let's just, we're outside, stuff's gonna fall. Have to pick it up. These things just constantly fall. I mean, heck, I just power washed this area, what, like four days ago? And it's already got stuff all over it again. And the maple trees, they're full of their little whirly bird helicopter, whatever those things are called, those are gonna be coming down all over the place here in a few weeks. Just the joys of being outdoors. I don't really get too stressed out about there being stuff on the patio, but the clutter, different story. Yeah, you know, I guess I just need to find my shovel. What did I do with my shovel? Oh, here it is. That's right. Seems like an appropriate place to keep a shovel. Start digging that out, get some fresh gravel poured into the areas that need it. And oh, this is gonna look so much better when it's done. What an eyesore, right? It's exaggerated right now because I have pots from the garage, the driveway over where that hot tub area is. Like everything is piled up right here. It's not normally this bad. And you see? What a mess, that looks horrible. Now it just made sense to go ahead and put everything together so I can organize them. There's some that need to be drilled and put back together. He just ran out the door. I backed up into the house so we can get a better shot of all the chaos over there. We'll talk more about the pottery situation when I start going through an organ. Did you see his posture right there? That's his grumpy, I need a nap posture. His head hangs low, his tail's down. He just looks tired and grumpy. That's turbo right now. Okay, well, I'm gonna let him finish doing his thing, even though he was just out here for three and a half hours. Apparently he needs a bathroom break. It does feel nice in here. Pumpkin, you say hi? You wanna say hi to everybody? No? You gotta walk away? She's always on a mission, always going somewhere. Again, again. <laughs> All right, she's hyper. Well, I gotta remember to bring him in before he jumps back in that pool. Come on, turbo. Come on, come on. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Okay, now you stay here. You see all the towels? <laughs> So many towels. He's always, you're always wet. You gotta stay in. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I feel really bad about this. I'm so sorry. I just always feel like if I'm outside, then the dog should be out here too, right? But he had enough playtime. He can hang out in the house for a while. I guess I should probably move this broken pot too. I have an area <laughs> where I've been putting all the broken pots and be glued back together. I, I might have all the pieces to put this one back together. I don't know. It's a big one. This is an old pot. It's very, very heavy. They don't make them quite this heavy anymore. There's extension cords out here from <laughs> when the electric wasn't working last year. Don't need those out here anymore. And a whole bunch of Christmas lights from winter 2019, I think. You know, the leaves fall on top of things and you just you forget about them. I think that's everything out of the way except for these drip lines but those just scoot out of the way this is going to be so nice to get done because this is where everything has to i know i keep saying it so you already know but since this is the uh, drainage for everything out here having the soil built up here means that whenever i have to hose the patio off the stuff just kind of leaches back onto the patio and makes a giant mess so what i'm going to do here is go through shove out as much of this dirt as i can hopefully you can see the sun's kind of intense today, but there's a good amount of soil in here. Get that out, make sure that there's a height difference between this drainage gravel and the patio, and then I can start moving the pots over here. Got in there and removed the bigger, like larger chunks of soil, tossed those up onto the hill around the shrubs, think that they'll be fine in there. One thing I noticed while I was doing this though is that there are a fair amount of roots in here 
which is surprising because there aren't any plants growing back here, but you know, roots travel and there's trees right above them. So I cut through as many of those fine roots as I could. Then I decided that it made more sense to just have a sharp trench in the front that I'll have to make sure stays dug out and can't fill in. That way, the remainder of any soil that's in here can flush in there and wash away over time to an extent. So not to put pottery on top of it. The main thing is just that there's a trench in the front for the water to get to. Not that exciting, don't wanna eat up too much time with that. So when it comes to organizing the pottery, they have to go face down, right? So that they don't fill up with water, even though almost everything has holes in it. And then biggest to smallest. So I need to be methodical here about how I do this. As much as I would like to just start grabbing things and throwing them over there, I know that that's not a good idea. So back here, Oh, y'all remember these? I think I can hold on to this. I'm gonna do something else with that at some point. It's a bunch of sedums, but do you remember these big stone planters from like, I don't even know, probably four years ago on the channel? These were planted up with cold hardy cactus and succulents. And then the sun started going away as it does when trees grow and things just weren't doing well in these containers anymore. And I think the winter I planted these up or the winter after we had a cold of like 13 below. That, that's too much. The Apuntias, they just, it was too much for them. But the sedums are still growing in these. So I don't really, should I gut them out? I don't want to leave them here because they're in the way. And this is the only spot that gets enough sun for them. <sighs> Be right back, have to think. You know, I thought about it and I have two sets of these big round pots. I don't need them both, so I'm going to take this clump of sedum out of here. And I'll plop that somewhere else, and those can just, they're going to go to the donation pile. I don't need two sets of these. Okay, this one's a little bit heavier. I don't see myself being able to, nope, going to have to, that's going to be a team lift. They're very nice pots. I like them. I just, I don't need two sets of them. I'm sure these will make someone else very happy. Classic pottery, I will get to last. I hold on to all my plastics and if I don't need them then the nurseries down the road they have a donation like a giant dumpster thing where you can bring your used nursery cans and drop them off and I think they go to the botanical gardens. I'm not positive. So what's left over here? A whole bunch of little things and that big boy one that one's broken. Probably move these first. It's got plastic pots inside of them. These are fun. I like these pots. I want to drill new holes in the bottom of them. I don't think I need these for anything right now, so they'll just, I'll just put them, put them over there. Well, I did just remember that I got some pottery for my baby sister when she got her house last summer that I think goes with the set. I don't know if they would, you know, they're not really into gardening though. I don't think they'd want them. At least not right now. They have to get a new patio and everything done. And you know, the way things are backed up with landscaping, that's not happening until the fall. So maybe they'll want these next year. I think I might still have a piece of the old tiki bar that I could put across there and make a little table. That might be nifty. I'm gonna go look and see if I still have that piece that I'm thinking of. I do have it, but I think it might be way too big. This is the old bar top that went on the tiki bar. There's still some space between the patio and here. So I suppose that would be all right and more ideal even. It's going to look a little bit nicer. Not that it matters. It's like I said, once the plants are set in this area, the bamboo on each side with the queen palm that goes in the middle, you really can't see this. Just don't know if I want something that's like quite that big there. I think for the life of the pottery, it would be better though for it to be not just in direct contact with the gravel. You know what I mean? It probably doesn't matter. Maybe the best thing to do here would be to just go ahead and start setting some pots on it and see how it works out. See if I like it. That's a fun one, isn't it? I got that from Lowe's. It's held up very, very well. Sometimes they say frost proof on them and that's not always the case, but this one, <laughs> so far so good. Okay, so that could be a problem. I have this other pretty pot that I usually use for bonsai. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Just to be safe, I can probably flip this thing over. Definitely not as pretty to look at, but much more stable. These beams right here aren't spaced quite right to get this level and not wobbly. But like this seems fine. Huh? <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I know. Yeah, it's ugly. Remember, this won't even be visible once the landscaping and everything is over here. And I do like this setup better because I can just put a little tarp over this during the winter time. Though I do, I can see myself wanting to replace that shelf at some point. It doesn't seem that sturdy. I moved the bigger, heavier pots down and put them down low so that it's only lightweight things up there and things are more sturdy 
that I'm not too concerned about breaking. And if it were to fall and break, then there aren't things I'd be all that heartbroken over. If that makes any sense, beautiful, but that's not what I was going for. What I was going for is cleaning up and organizing. Oh, and I usually get comments when I do things like this, asking why I don't just get like a shed or something. I have an HOA and it's, it's not allowed. So you just have to find little creative ways to tuck and hide the things if you're a gardener in this neighborhood. It can be tricky when you have all these supplies laying around. The seashells, I'm gonna put those somewhere else. I want them together separately. That pot is broken. I don't know if you can even see it because the sun is so intense right now. And then there's still a, one more pot I need to clean out. And then the rest of everything over here is just a matter of deciding what's recycling, what's to keep, and what's to donate or to take to the, the, you get it. I don't see a reason to like vlog through all that. That seems like it'd be pretty boring, right? So I think we'll just cut back and hopefully this space will be picked up-ish. Oh, we'll see. Wow, that was a lot, a lot of leaves and plant tags and packing peanuts, all kinds of stuff was down in that mess. Spent a long time picking all that stuff out so I could get it swept into the yard waste bin. What do you think? I know it's still messy, but like I said, I'm not messing with water right now. It's gonna warm up here in a few days and I'll power wash all of that. Look at this, isn't it just, oh, it looks so much better. Still a few things to handle over here, but for the most part, Oh, it's so nice. Nice, clean, well, dirty, but clean line. Loving this. And another thing that's going to be really nice is there's an entire section of drip that was from here to over there that I couldn't really even get to without moving all that stuff out of the way and diving down in there. And I hadn't been into this spot as far as cleaning goes, if you couldn't tell, in a couple of years, not since 2019, 2020. Had some stuff going on in 2021, was recovering from the stuff that was going on in 2020. So I had to take it a little bit easier and it's nice to like be able to get in and get things back to the way they used to be. And my goal here is to have them better than the way they used to be. So just getting that clutter out. Nice, fresh start. Looks so much better. This thing right here, this arbor trellis plant stand, this was a gift. I don't really know what to do with it. I'm thinking I may put it behind the potting bench. That might work. Oh, it's, that's really the only thing I can think of. I found another pot. <laughs> There's an entire barrel underneath there that needed to be dealt with and three more smaller pots up there. That's just going to be the nature of things. Going to keep finding more things that need to be organized. I did forget to mention with all of these, the little pots hopefully come like midsummer or something like that. I have an area in my garage that I'm going to reorganize just for pottery and all the little stuff will be going in there. So this is, should have mentioned that to begin with. This is temporary, but also it doesn't really matter because this is very similar to what I've done with my pots for like the past six years. So it works, just a little bit different with having that bench top there. So nice. Okay, now I need to put the potting bench where I want it to go, and I guess I'll put this over there. I don't know. I don't really have enough time left in the day with some other things I need to do to really do much more than any projects. My main goal was to handle all of that and then all of this over here, and I feel good about that, but I think I'll feel better when I have that potting bench moved. So here's what I'm thinking with that. Pretty sure I had already mentioned, but this is where I think would be a good spot for that potting bench. Right in here where the pond used to be. Gets part sun, has some afternoon shade. The only thing I don't like about it is it's very exposed to like the neighbors and everything over there. But that, that potting bench is meant to be moved around. That really just be where I keep it and hopefully don't pile things on top. I'll go ahead and plop it over there. See how it looks. What do we think? Works for me. Still have a big pot I need to do something with, but otherwise it's pretty good. Not quite level, but like I said, I don't really want to have this with things on it at all times so that'll do ideally i'll go ahead and clean off a spot where i can put the anything that needs to be planted or i'm waiting to plant somewhere over here because this would be a good spot to go ahead and toss a puppy gate down so i can keep turbo and toby from running around on anything that needs to be planted and then i put this plant stand back here you can tell i'm losing my voice pollen's high that works i can put my little tools in there yeah i'm fine with it i don't think that looks bad it needs to be leveled but otherwise, it's good. I think that looks better than the big blue plasticky pond. Yeah, low bar though, isn't it? Eventually, not right now, because I'm already a little concerned I may have bitten off more than I can chew for this video. Like, I, didn't, I totally forgot that it's Wednesday. I didn't, I didn't even film anything, so oops. Sorry about that. Hopefully I'll get something posted at some point, and if not, then 
my bad. But some cleaning over here, some fresh gravel, picking up some old pottery and that'll look nice. That'll look much better. There we go, okay. Day one, complete. Took several hours, but probably didn't seem like it in the video, which is good, right? Our day's work. Now I'm gonna go take a shower and try and get my voice back. There's a lot of pollen in the air talking. Not so easy outside right now. What are you doing, Toby? You think about going upstairs? You gonna go upstairs, baby? Toby's reached the age where going upstairs is something he has to stand around and think about. Just gotta make sure the juice is worth the squeeze. Apparently not worth the squeeze right now. Good boy, Toby. I'm just surrounded by all my babies right now. How you doing, Pumpkin? Yeah, I know, it's dinner time. Turn into little stalkers at 6.30 every night. They've already eaten, though. They're trying to trick me. You wanna go outdoors? Is it still raining? It's been raining off and on all day. I think we talked about that in the last clip, right? We needed to get a lot done because didn't have time to get outside. Yeah, do those stretches. Good boy. Do those stretches. Good baby. Maybe the rain lightened up. I don't think I, eh, I want to go out there with the camera. So that's okay. So there's everything that needs to go out with the recycling. That's not everything. I'm keeping some of that, but the bins were full. So I have to figure out a different way to, it'll be gone by the time everything's done on Friday. Doesn't this all look so much better though? Like just pretend that's not there. Oh, so fresh and clean. Love that nice line. See in the wall, I went out and trimmed up the spruce that was hanging over the wall there. Maybe I can get the lights fixed. The wall will light up again. Those two, they're so cute together. Yeah, very gloomy day. Didn't really get anything done outside. Got a video edited and out, which I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do, but this is not ideal. Very chilly. Tomorrow and Friday, oh, it's supposed to be beautiful. Like in the 70s. I think we're gonna be in the 80s this weekend. I cannot wait. Really can't wait to get all this edging done and handle all that mess down there and just have this bit. I've been saying it this entire time. I've been very much looking forward to this video or just this week of just poof, wiping the slate clean. And the power washer, I'm very excited to get out here with the power washer and get to use that thing. So satisfying. The blasting of the dirt off the surfaces, that's gonna be fun. I'm not really even sure why I picked up the camera. There was something I meant to talk about, but I don't, <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I don't remember. He's been enjoying all the extra room for activities too. Just more room to spin and go crazy and not have things to bump into. I guess we'll just pick up tomorrow. Hopefully it's gonna be sunny and warm, or at least partly cloudy. I don't really care if it's sunny. I just want it to be warm. Some warmth would be nice. Do you hear that? Probably not. I don't have my mic frequency turned up that loud. The birds are just singing their heads off. I don't, I don't doubt you can hear it. it. It's beautiful. I'm loving it. Also, I found out there's a nest up there hanging out inside those fish. I was wondering what was going on. I've been coming outside and there have been little scraps of things on the step, little bits of plants and plant pieces, mulch and things like that, which I had assumed was turbo, but uh, no, it's coming from the nest that's up there. That's fun. Which also explains why he had poop on his neck the other day when he came in the house. I was wondering about that. What do you have? What is that? Do you find sticks? Always finding sticks. You can have it. Go enjoy. Oh wait, actually, I don't know what that's from. Turbo, can I have that back? I'm sorry. I was just kidding. Why don't you play with the toy? Things are slowly starting to dry off. It was a very wet morning out here and I was hoping <laughs> things would be more dry so I could get over here and start working. I'm just gonna go for it though. I don't care that there's some moisture on the ground. It's gonna deal with it. So here it is, the pile just junk everywhere I have another broken pot i have a little area where i'm putting all those together this one is missing a piece i had it all laid out and ready to glue together last fall but there's a piece missing and i think it might be back here potentially once i have all this cleared out well almost all of it that big pot needs to stay i'm sure i'll go through all that when i get it done I have to come in here and edge out this area because it needs to drain down to another. It's, we've talked about the drainage situation back here before. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I think so. You can see how there's water pulling up over here. Well, there's supposed to be a slight slope with gravel in it on the edge of this berm and it's, it's not there anymore. Everything just erodes and comes down. So it's normal every few years, I gotta push it back. That's what I'm gonna be doing with the entire yard. Uh, then I don't know, maybe I'll get to that today. Hopefully I would like to. It would certainly look a lot nicer to no longer have this mess over here. I have a couple new lounges to go over here. I don't know if I'm gonna reuse these cushions. I'm gonna give them a scrub and see if I can make them look better. They got really dirty when they were underneath this mimosa tree back in 2020. It had a white fly infestation and just that sooty mold 
was all over them. So they were black and I gave them a scrub and now they're, well, they're just green now. It's still disgusting, but an improvement. The things need to be scrubbed. I just want to get this whole spot opened up. I don't know if I'm going to keep this table. I don't really want it. Never did want it. This was, it was a family member's and they didn't want it more. So they just kind of stuck it here and stuck it with me. And I don't, I don't think it's necessary to have a little seating set down here when there's a perfectly fine table over there. There's chase lounges and have the swing, which also, you know, I don't know how long for the world that thing is either. I uh, have plenty of time to think about that. Now I just need to figure out what to do with all the pots. Big pots down here. Some I'm keeping, some will be donated. Some are going to family and friends. Just, uh, what a mess. I think that hydrangea needs to go too. It doesn't look good in there anymore, but that's, that's a finishing touch. That's for another time. As soon as I hit record, disappears behind a flower pot. He's just having the time of his life, attacking the water that comes out of those dolphins. You having a good time in there, Turbo? Yeah, okay. He's been quite the helper. Actually, he's been pretty good. He's been, like, over there entertaining himself, like, jumping in the pool, playing with his toys, and been pretty fantastic. Here's where I am. Lots of mess. Lots of dirty. Already got a bunch of stuff picked up. First thing I did was break a pot. Slipped right off the dolly. But I don't think I've ever done that before. I know a lot of pots get broken around here, but that's the weather. That's not me. This is my first time breaking. Well, not my first time. I don't break pots very often. Moved that, got that down into the pot repair area. And now just, I just gotta figure out what to do with all the, all the pots. That thing looks horrible. Could use a new coat of paint. I'll probably go ahead and spread the soil out up here in that berm because of the erosion. Just talked about that and I thought things are gross enough over here that I should make sure to show you. Don't you want to see how nasty it is? This is just disgusting. Ah, uh, look at that. I know it's disgusting, but a vast improvement, right? So plenty of picking up to do. Just thought I should stop and give an update on what I'm working on. I got all the old stuff out have a pile in the driveway of things that can go to donation or friends want them and a few things for recycling and now I am trenching this out because there should be gravel in the front like foot or so of this hence why there's mud all over the ground because the water can't really drain through here as it should so I started my trench right about there I'll go ahead and get it down to here actually I'll probably do the entire thing all the way through just because I'd like to get that gravel out of there and then I'm probably gonna have to say that's enough for today because I only have about 45 minutes left and I gotta take a shower and have some other stuff I gotta do, but hey, this is good. Good progress. I was hoping to get more done, get the pressure washing at least started, but I, you know, eh, I don't know. I might cancel my plans. It's really gonna bother me. I can't leave this much mud out here. It's really gross. Oh, hee hee, Tobes. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Yeah, the ground's nice and wet over here. Perfect spot to lay down. Look at the, look at, isn't it fantastic? Cleanest. This patio has ever been on this channel by far. There's still a little bit of grime in there. There's a uh, special stuff you can put in with the power washer fluid to get that up. I'll do that at another time because I don't have any of it. Talk about a major improvement though, right? Look at that. You can actually see those lines. Doesn't that look so much better being able to see that in there? I still need to go through and put the gravel in. It didn't make sense to me to fill in the drainage gravel along this spot until after I had power washed all the muck off because it's going to fill back up with muck. And then that also is giving me a better idea of some spots where I need to dig out a little bit more. You can see where things up here more full. I need to dig that down some more so things can make their way to that drain and get out of the yard. The cushions, I think they have some hope. <laughs> they don't look fantastic, but I think a couple more goes with the power washer and just a mild soap and those should be looking much better. Probably not looking brand new, but they'll be looking a lot better. These are the umbrella material and they say just mild soap and water, very soft brush, and if you to like use the lowest pressure possible. And they're cleaning up okay. The chase lounges that were supposed to go with us, the screws that came with them are stripped out, so won't be putting those together right now. It's fine. I don't care. Those are more for other people's enjoyment anyways. I never use those things. This this. Okay, here's the deal with this thing. It's always been right here. That's where it's like always been. It is extremely fragile. Like I was paranoid just moving it a few feet out. I was thinking it was just going to crumble to pieces. I've had this for like, I don't even know, like probably like 12, 13 years, something like that. It's been around. It's been moved around a bunch, but the last like 
five to six years. I haven't touched it. This is only five dollars. <laughs> Got this on clearance at Lowe's way back in the day and uh, it's held up okay. One of the handles broke off a long time ago from like barely touching it so that's why I just have this paranoia about where to move it. I'm not gonna leave it right there but wherever I move it, it I don't want it to be too far away because I don't know if it'll survive the journey. I really don't want it to break. If it does break, it's gonna go. I'm not gonna try and glue it back together. I don't think I want it over here anymore though. So I'm gonna do, anyways, I'm gonna work on that. Figure out what to do with the urn, dig this out some more, get the gravel in there. That'll help define the lines. I've dug out the gravel some more up towards that path, moved a pot up there. I'm gonna do another one on the other side that looks the same. So hopefully that'll help guide the dogs through the path instead of through the shrubbery. Maybe they'll catch onto that, I don't know. Probably not. Then going to come through and do the same thing over here. Dig all this out, fill it in with some fresh gravel. I already did that over here on this side so you can see where there's a trench dug. Just need to fill it in, need to do the same thing over here. This looks so much better in the spot when those lines are cut. It's just same thing as edging a garden, but adding some gravel for drainage. And you can see how this would be more inviting when there's not mud everywhere because there's nowhere for the runoff and everything to go because the drains aren't in there. And there's probably a good three to four inches of patio over here. You can't even see because everything's just kind of melted its way over on top of everything. Now let me see, that's all done. Dug all that out. I just need to do, I think one more area right here. So from right here, because there's a drain right behind this yard waste bin from right there and around. So we're walking around so you can see what things look like before I get in there and start doing it all. And so hopefully the next time I pick up this camera, everything out here will be done. Hopefully, that is the goal. It kinda has to be, because that was the whole point of the video was to get these things done. Turbo so far this morning, being very good about entertaining himself. So yeah, there it is. Final look of the mess and then hopefully very soon it'll be nice and fresh out here <laughs> hopefully oh that already looks so much better and i haven't even spread it or leveled it this is gonna be good okay i'm getting really excited now I mean, look at that it is not even close to being done yet this is oh oh okay i'll shut up now and get back to work and then we can all enjoy looking at rocks it's the I swear it'll be, it's going to be worthwhile, I promise. <sighs> oh, it's so much better. I know there's still some stuff that wasn't what I was trying to get done this week. I just wanted to get the quarter off the patio, get the drainage handle. Doesn't that look so much better? And all the way around, there were some issues, a few problems. One, I forgot that the base of this palm came out like a good foot to a foot and a half, so I had to cut that whole area out. I probably from right here to around to the gate, this little section that took like 45 minutes or so. It wasn't as easy as just digging and scooping like it used to be because it's been a few years since I've done this. I actually had to go in and somewhat grade things so that there wouldn't just be a sharp wall above where the drainage is in here. I know it's muddy. It's going to take a while for things to clear up. Look at that. A nice wide path again. Got the path back. There's a little bit of overflow, nothing wrong with that, that's okay. Now water has a place to drain and not pool up as much over here. I mean, that's the whole point of all this is just that when it rains and everything that as the water hits, it doesn't wash all the soil out from the garden onto the patio. There's French drains and pipes that go out to a storm sewer over here. So it's still kind of dusty. It'll look better when it gets another rinse. I did give it a quick rinse, but it's, it's gonna take a few is probably this is oh, it feels so good to have this done this is a project that i don't normally get done until like june or july we all have those projects in our backyards right where we just dread them for me that's mulch like i love the way it looks and once i get going with it i enjoy it but not my favorite thing to do and i think my least favorite thing to do in the garden pardon the wind it's very windy is this but it's so necessary it needed to be done it needed to be done because we are into storm season, heavy rains and downfalls to help keep all that junk from washing over onto the patio. What a huge improvement, right? There's some things in the way this pot's going to be used to do a repot on my mule pumps here fairly soon. It's got to hang out there. A few planters that I haven't yet figured out what I want. Well, I know what I want to do with them. I just didn't bother putting them away because I wanted to actually plant things in them. So those are hanging out and 
taking up some space looking kind of cluttery. And then in here there's a lot of debris. I've been going through and raking it and pulling it up and I think it's just going to take time to get that out of there. But eventually we'll get all that junk out of there get a top dressing of gravel on top that I have eight bags left which isn't gonna be quite enough but that's okay I can always go and get more and then I, I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it but I would like to reroute my drip and everything so it's not running through here it would make more sense to get it run up around this wall and back down behind things I just have to upgrade the girth the girth that's not the right word the diameter of the tubing that's what I was trying to say. I'll need to upgrade from the half inch to get something that will get me a little water pressure because it's going to take a lot more hose to get it. You know what? There's going to be a garden tour here pretty soon. We can talk about specifics. I'm going to do all that stuff. For now, I'm just trying to enjoy the clean. So clean. I mean, it's still messy because it's spring and there's stuff falling everywhere, but vast improvement. Um, got this thing cleaned up so now I can collapse that, get it put away when it's done drying, and then I can pull the pots back down and get that area arranged and looking nice again. Finally. Loving my little potting area. This is the only spot that I have left. Everything I've been doing out here, just things that have been a thorn in my side for like the last two years, but they're just things that I didn't think were a great idea to be doing with trying to heal the skin graft and, and nerve regeneration, like all that stuff that I don't really feel like talking about. Just didn't seem like a guy to do huge, huge projects that involve that much lifting. You know, 60 bags of gravel. You gotta buy it, load it onto the cart, get it in the car, bring it home, unload it. I had 15 bags of salt. It was like 2,400 pounds. And then repeat that times like four or five. There's still eight bags left over there and I still have three bags of pool salt. I don't know, I'm not doing the math, but I think it's around like 14,000 pounds of lifting and moving over a few days. It's pretty good. Couldn't do that last year. So feeling very encouraged and happy. Whole point there is I've been trying to kind of work through my list of the things that have been bugging me in this area is what's next. And really, I think that that is it. Once that's done, I'm just going to be like, happy as can be out here. There's still projects, there'll always be projects, but as far as the messy things, that's all done. It's gonna be much better. Hey, think about it, here's all these before and afters. All those pots, all that clutter, and then all the junk that was underneath that tree, and then having the sidewalk area cleared out by the gates, and then everything down there by that berm. Oh, that was such a mess. That was disgusting. <laughs> and so am I. Oh, that was dirty. That was some dirty work. Feels good to get dirty though. Now that the hard stuff's done, just get to enjoy things and do planting. Isn't that nice? Just ripping that bandaid off can just play and have fun out here. That's what I wanted to enter into May. Things are warming up. It's like 84 degrees right now. It feels fantastic. 44, 45 degrees warmer than it was just a couple days ago. And it's going to stay like that. I think we're gonna be in the 60s and stuff next week, but you get it. It's time to start doing all of the fun planty things. Mulching still needs to be done, but I don't see a reason to do that just yet. There are some other things that need to be done first. Oh, my birthday's in a few weeks and I decided I might treat myself this year. So I'm gonna pay someone to do the mulching because I, I don't want to. I enjoy the workout from doing the mulching, but me factor in the front yard, this bed, there's a bed over there, over here, this berm, and I want to take the mulch from right here all the way up and around, which I haven't done before. I'm just doing the math and it's gonna be like eight to 10 cubic yards, which is a lot. That's like a pile is normally taller than most people. They have to get delivered. They dump it in the driveway and you got to do it all. I, I just didn't feel like it. I did the math. It's not going to cost that much more to just have them deliver it and do it. So looking forward to having that done. Japanese maple bonsai is waking up and dancing in the wind. I hope the audio is not absolutely horrible. I'm using a different microphone right now and I don't know how it holds up to the wind. I really, you think I would have learned by now to test my microphones? on like different little practice videos before just integrating them into the ending of videos that were very long and I had a lot going on. But nope. So I have this pot right here that I need to move. I'm going to put it, it's weird to talk about this. So that's the thing, I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> My arms feel like jello. Lots of digging, lots of moving, good exercise. It feels very nice to be outside and active again. And I know that's still sitting out here in the middle. I have an idea of what I want to do with this and it just doesn't make sense to put it back when I'm going to be moving it and doing some things with the furniture. So I was hoping to like also get the chase lounges out here and rearrange the little bistro set over here and have the cushions cleaned up. Like, oh, I wanted to have more of a finished effect to everything that I've done out here, but there's just no way. There's not time. As it is, I'm already doubting I'm going to be able to get this video out on time for everybody tomorrow. Oh, it's probably going to be late, but maybe not. I don't know. We will see. But there is a garden tour coming up and I will do my best to have like the pots and things and you know, all the stuff 
handled. Very excited to do a garden tour where I don't have to start off with, I know things are a mess, it's fine, get over it. No, things are not a mess. I mean, there's always some mess, we're outside. And it's that time of year, but you know what I mean. Vast improvement. And there's a good amount of stuff going on in the garden. There's a quick sweep. That's it, that's all you get right now. <laughs> you get to see the rest of it in the garden tour. All right, comment down below, say hi. I love talking to everybody. What's going on in your gardens? You getting things moving, having fun, being outside. Hopefully the weather started to improve for a lot of you and able to get that fresh air. Doing yard work or not, just being outside. It's good for you and for the soul. Very relaxing and soothing. And here comes that wind again. All right, hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you for yet. I don't know why I said that like it was a question. It is not. I mean it. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.